Hello everybody, Mobius1 here bringing you the next episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. We're about to board this shuttle and take it to where the Ebon Hawk is supposed to be, apparently. So let's do it. The orbital shuttle doesn't have a hyperdrive, but it can get you off the restoration zone or out of the restoration zone. Take the shuttle to the shielded Mesa and Talos's polar region. Let's go. It does look a lot like Dantooine from KOTOR 1. Statement. We have arrived too late. The target has evaded us. We must pursue it. Hmm. Observation. They have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. Oh. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region, which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. Interesting. Well, this can't be any worse than last time. So that's the hole in the shield network, huh? Doesn't look like much to me. How did they get there so fast? Oh crap. Are we really gonna crash again? You've gotta be kidding me. It's not my fault. Or crashing again. Wow. We just can't catch a break. Egotistic praise. An excellent shot, even with the prevailing winds. I couldn't have done it better myself. Field assessment. I picked up on the heat forms of the Jedi and his allies. Activate the mines and prime the self-destruct sequences. How did we get out front of the shuttle, though? Did we, like, get thrown through the windshield? statement. Oh, Jedi, it is good to see you intact. We were concerned that shooting down your shuttle would damage you irreparably. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Unnecessary addendum. And put an end to hostilities. Um, any reason you shot down my vessel? What are you assassins sure doing here? How many of you are there? If you want to fight, then come on. Destroying one of you is easy. Wiping out three of you might cause me to break a sweat. Any reason why you shut down my vessel? Unnecessary clarification. We merely wish to cripple your vessel. Once we tracked your coordinates, we were able to deploy several droids in this location. Probing query. We are, however, curious as to why you chose to come to the remnants of the Polar Telos irrigation system. There is nothing here that our instruments can detect. Eager threat, but we are looking forward to extracting your motives for coming here when we place you in torture restraints. Hmm. Uh, okay. What are you assassin's doing here? Uh, um, how many of you are there? Chiding statement. Oh, Jedi. There are as many of us as are needed to capture or kill our targets. Egotistical boast. And there are far more of us than any one Jedi. Destroy one of us, and more shall rise from the wreckage. Unnecessary threat. And our attack protocols are more than a match for you and your allies. Yeah. Destroying one of you is easy. Uh, Atten leveled up? Oh yeah, because he hasn't been with us lately. Alright, let's level him up real quick. See if he gets- oh great, he's just gonna get more skills. Boo. Uh, wait, were we playing? No, we were giving him computer use. Right? Sure, why not? Well, alright, here we go. 
We got a lot of things to fight. Oh wait, these are mines. Let's not do that. Let's disable droid. We'll have her disable this one and we'll have him shoot uh, this one. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh crap, okay, he's almost dead. Yeah, good, Kreia's healing. Wait, let's look at the stances, support. Yeah, you're you're gonna be support. Yes, yes, do that. You're aggressive. And you, um, we want the one that gives defense, it. no wait, this is the one that we want. Yeah, the other form is for lightsaber fighting. I do. Dude, she, he is gonna die. We need, uh, we need him to use cure. Cancel combat. Use some, uh, healing. Damn it. Okay. We might be in trouble. Uh... Nah, this is, this is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well at all. Just say the word. Wow, we lost! No! I don't know what these dialogue options are. Okay, let's try not to run directly into the mines this time. We're gonna set Kraya to Jedi support. We're going to have everybody turn on their energy shields. And... Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Much better. Let us end this. Focus. Systems failing, master. Much, much better. HK control cluster. All right, and just say the word. Hatton leveled up again. Give him all the same stuff that we were just giving him. Feats. He got sneak attack. A new one. Um, oh yeah. Master rapid shot. Definitely. Okay. Man, we need... We need some health. I hear you. Just say the word. Right, let's save our game because we do not want to have to do that again. Is there anything in the shuttle? Oh, what about Baldur? Is he okay? Baldur looks as if he was knocked unconscious by the explosion. If you can find refuge, he should recover in time. Alright, there's nothing in, in there. Well, it looks like there's only one place to go. This is like an entrance. Yeah, there's a door here. I can see it on the map. Polar Plateau Interior. Can we get in? It's just unlocked. Whoa. Who are these girls? I'm just gonna stand there and stare at his knocked out body. Snow White. Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. Um, who are you? All right, we mean no harm. I'm not giving up my weapons. Take my weapons and you die. Uh, well, I mean, they're dressed in white, so they can't be bad, right? And we saw one of these girls before, didn't we? Like, watching us or something? Uh, fine, we mean no harm. 
Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current deep, deeper to its source. That's... Stop! Stop! Ah! That's mind ah. rape. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah, and there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Atten. If he is a Jedi, he will forgive. And if he is not, he will not care. You can't tell him, please. I'm asking you. I don't want him to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this man we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve him until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejaric can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased this is a as long it is, scene. refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. No. Thank you. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches. So, wow. All right, there's a lot to digest there. So apparently he murdered a Jedi, and he was once a, a blind, blindly following someone. Maybe, was, was he Mandalorian? Maybe? I don't know. Was he an assassin? I'm not sure what to think of all of that. And who's this actress chick? Is this is this actress? I did not expect Atris? to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Tell me what you've done with my friends first. I want my property, my slaves, and my ship returned. It was not my intention to come here, Atris, or see you again. 
If you think I want to see your face again, you're sadly mistaken. I'm looking for my ship so I can leave Telos. I'm here because a pretentious Shuda, Shuda stole my ship. Revenge, you cast me out, now I've returned. So apparently I know this chick. Um, I'm looking for my ship so I can leave Telos. Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hall. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. The destruction of Paragus was an accident. Paragus's destruction was necessary. I wish I'd blown up that rock cluster. Paragus, never heard of it. I admit nothing. Look, do you have my ship or not? Are you admitting to stealing the Ebon Hall? It was an accident, man. Ah, an accident. Something beyond your control. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking, putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? Why don't you tell me? Yeah, I destroyed two worlds with one explosion. Uh, I know I put Telos in jeopardy, but I had no choice. Yes, yes, Telos is doomed. Progress was nothing compared to what I'll do. I've had enough of this and you. Why don't you tell me? Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. What? 20 worlds with one explosion, even better. Uh, what do you mean? Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other rim worlds devastated by the Sith will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. Hmm. Uh, you know me, and I and know I would not have initial, intentionally committed such an act. It is not my intention to harm other worlds. The Sith attacked me in progress. The battle destroyed the colony. So now I get blamed for the actions of the Sith. My crime, the Sith destroyed progress, not me. I want to lie with you to put me on trial. Yeah, no, the Sith destroyed it, not me. The Sith? What do you mean? The Sith have returned. They are hunting all Jedi. You'll find out what their hand is at your throat. Uh, oh, you'll find out when their hand is at your throat. And the Sith came for me in Paragus to kill me. You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. And you encountered them on Paragus. But what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. The Sith believe me to be the last Jedi. They intend to exterminate all Jedi everywhere. I don't know, perhaps they were. Uh, it was I was the only Jedi they could find. They didn't realize I'd left the Jedi behind. The fools thought me a Jedi. Since you were hiding, they came after a real Jedi. I think it's the first one. The Sith believe me to be the last Jedi. You. If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. Hmm. I do not think I was followed. If so, then I offer you my help. You'll need it. There must be other Jedi. Were there any survivors of the Jedi Civil War? They're stronger than you think. At least one Sith Lord stands with them, and they fight differently than the Sith from the Jedi Civil War. I just want my ship back. Uh, there must be other Jedi. I said I was the last of the Jedi, Exile, and I did not speak falsely. There are others who were once Jedi, but no longer. They will not take action against this threat. And you will? There is a change. But I could track them down, maybe change their minds. If so, then I offer you my help. Uh, maybe I can track them down change their minds. You offer your aid? After turning your back on me? On the Council? The Jedi is not something you embrace out of fear. The commitment is stronger than that. Something you never seem to understand. Yo, whoa, look at all these persuade options. Uh, but I always understood the war, and that's who you need. The Sith have numbers on their side. You'll need all the allies you can get, Jedi or not. I'm not doing this out of fear. I only want, I want to help. You can't do this alone. I offer my assistance. If you think I act out of fear, it's obvious. That's obvious you never understood me. I offer my help and you insult me. Forget it then. Uh, the Sith have numbers on their side, I think. You'll need all the allies you can get, Jedi or not. Perhaps. But if you help me, it cannot be done from here. There are others in the galaxy who may help us against a Sith threat. If you can find them, that's what I offered. Trust, perhaps our defenses shall be stronger for it. That's what I Take offered. Your ship, seek them out. If you find them, encourage them to gather on Dantooine. From there, we can call a council and see what can be done. I'll see what I can do. If there's anyone who can aid us, I will find them. I'll gather what I, what help I can and assemble them on Dantooine. 
Where can I find my companions? Yeah, fine. I'll gather what help I can and assemble them on day at Then I shall send you on your way. It is now time for you to depart. We shall remove him, mistress. Come with us. I can't tell if those are like lightsabers they're are you holding. All right, mistress. The exile brought up feelings best left forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile. I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Did you care for him once? The Jedi have no such attachments. As always, he will do as he wills. And the galaxy and the feelings of others can burn for all he cares. The day we judged him, I stood in the chamber and he was... He was so right. He was so certain of it, I doubted myself. He chose Revan over the Jedi, over the Council, over... But now, now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Right, so I'm guessing this is Atris, the older Jedi, the last Jedi. Which again, I'm wondering how much uh, of this was used as inspiration for the film The Last Jedi. Because so far this is more interesting of a story than that. Okay. Why have you approached me? Uh, oh. Okay. I'm searching for my friends. You will find them in the main irrigation channel room, in the northern part of the plateau interior. The particle emitters there that once governed the flow of water to Telos can double as force cages. Uh, okay. So they are prisoners? They were caged for their safety, until we could determine your intent, exile. Atris cautioned us against your tactics, fearing that your allies would create a distraction. Your companions gave us little trouble, however. The male could have presented some challenge if he had resisted, but he chose not to. Uh, okay. Who, Atten? He has had some Ichani training. He masks it well, but when you are in danger, his mask dropped into a stance we know well. Hmm. Uh, where would he have gotten tra that training? I do not know. The Ichani forms are known to be taught to military special forces throughout the galaxy. If the source is a mystery to you, perhaps you should ask him. It would be wise to know those you travel with. Yo, he must have been Mandalorian. Um, the Ebon Hawk, where is it? Your ship is stored in the hangar. Atris has given you permission to leave this place. And permission to return if you remain in her service. Okay, I'll be going. Are you the same? Why have you approached me? Yeah, okay, you're the same. Uh, all right, let's do a quick save. If I remember correctly, this place is really buggy because I think we're getting really close to where I've played up to before. Curious if I can go this way. Is this door openable? Meditation chamber. Nope. Okay. Is it they took away all my weapons? No. Wait, I still have a Sith War Sword. There we go. Okay, so now we have to find our friends and find the Ebon Hawk. And we can get on up out of here. So what's over here first? More handmaidens. Wait a minute, what's over here? Yo, how big is this place? You are the exile. The one Atris warned us about. What did Atris say? She said, you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. Oh? She's just teasing you? I'm really not a bad guy? She's exaggerating. I went to, to, I went to war to protect others, not to fight. Going to war was necessary. Uh, yeah, I went to war to protect others, not to fight. That is not all, she says. 
She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. Yeah, her voice sounds so familiar. Um, and why is that? What dark side? I do not walk the path of the dark side. I do not walk the path of the dark side. Have you looked how many light side points I have? Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. Um, that doesn't explain why I stopped fighting after the Mandalorian Wars. If that were the case, I would would have fought in the Jedi Civil War. Yeah. Atris says, when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with them because you had fallen so far, you could no longer feel the Force. The Force aside, I was tempted to attack the Jedi, but I didn't. I did not march with Revan because it was my choice. Yeah. Uh, I did not march with Revan because it was my choice. So it was a matter of choice then. If Atris has erred in her evaluation of your motivations, it might be best to inform her. Did Atris say anything else? I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Expressed feelings? Yes. It is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. What do you think Atris's heart says? Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline, reduced to movement and motion. Hmm. Well, I have no wish to fight Atris. If I fight Atris, then, then that may make the truth come out. So if I crust Atris's skull into the floor, that might get the heart to the heart of the matter. No, I have no wish to fight her. Then her expressed feelings will have to suffice. Okay. Uh... What other questions can I ask? You may ask. You look different than the other women here. Yeah. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. Huh. I apologize. I meant no offense. There's no need to apologize. You were merely remarking on something that you saw. There is no wrong in that. Is it a sensitive subject? It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. Hmm, okay. I'm done. Before you go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? Wait, these people aren't... Well, I guess they're not Force-sensitive. It's a difficult thing to describe. Please, I wish to know. That's not creepy at all. Imagine awakening and hearing the heartbeat of the galaxy for the first time. Is like a current that passes through you and carries you with it to all the places it touches. The warmth of the sun without the glare. You can feel its light and its heat, but there is no harshness to it. It is so many things, yet you know when you feel it without question. I only know what its loss feels like. You'll know when you die, so unless you seek death, leave me be. Maybe I'll speak of it some other time. Whoa, these are all really deep. Um, let's just go with the first one. No, let's go with... Uh, let's go with the sun one. I see. Thank you, Exile. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me. My pleasure. Okay. Now we're gonna rob you. <laughs> Light side points gained. So now I can steal all your stuff. Battle armor. I'm not gonna bash this one. I don't wanna break anything that's inside it. So we'll wait until we get somebody that can slice it open. Same thing with that one. And same thing with that one. Okay. Let's see if we can find at and. Here we go. Did you find what you came for? A woman from my past has made this place her home. I did not expect to see her again. I think so, but we have to go now. Perhaps I've been given a chance to help the Jedi. Look at this. 
I had thought that would bring you some peace, yet I still sense some unrest in you. There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. Yo, you know her name. I heard I, you said in that previous cutscene, Atris, so I know you know her. The woman here is a Jedi, Atris, one of the Council. She was one of the Council who cast me out of the Order and wanted to pun punish me even further. I don't trust her. I may have to kill her. Well, I won't exactly call her charming. Stay out of my head or I'll remove yours. It's none of your business. I'll just do... She was one of the Council who cast me out of the Order and wanted to punish me even further. I see it now. The act has left its marks. Be warned. Unresolved events from our past can create wounds in the present and the future. And, more importantly, they can distract you, weaken you. It could prove fatal against the enemies we face. Alright. Let's just leave. Very well. Let us depart. Uh... Huh. What happened to Atten? He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. You liar. All right, then. Let me free you. I am sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. There's nothing to apologize for. Are you sure you're okay? I have no use for a soldier who falls at the first sign of combat. Be on your guard in the future. Uh, this is the first one. I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? A Jedi Academy concealed on the northern pole of Telos. Yeah. This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide, like the one on Coruscant. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use. Uh, this'll be your new home if your wounds could slow me down, understand? Are you well enough to travel? Keep silent, no telling who might be listening. Just get to the ship, we can talk later. Are you uh, feeling well enough to travel? I am, General. If you wish, I may travel with you, or join you at the ship. Come with me, I could use your help. Very well, General. Okay, we're gonna take him, and we're gonna take Kraya. Mistress, you summoned me. I have a task for you. The Exile is dangerous. I'm concerned that he was able to return to Republic space and reach Telos without my knowledge. Mistress, the Harbinger was lost in transit. It was our failing. What is done is done. But now I need you to travel with him. Mistress, I realize what I'm asking of you. And I'm asking that you keep your purpose a secret, even from your sisters. I need someone to watch the Exile closely and let me know if he contacts the Sith. More importantly, I need you to study him closely. I need to know what he thinks what he does. Become part of his group. Earn his trust. Get him to confide in you. I will do as you ask, mistress. See, I don't know if they should be showing us these cutscenes, though, because but now- mistress, the exile did not seem to pose a threat to us. Ah, but he does. Do not be fooled by the exterior. It is his nature you must beware. He fell to the dark side once. He will do so again. I am trusting you with this task. Last of my handmaidens. Do not disappoint me. The galaxy, the Jedi, may depend on it. Now that I know that she's, like, been assigned to me to spy on me, like, I don't... Now what? What's going on? seen better days. Dude, the cutscenes are real. Who's this? I have felt a tumor, Lord. A disturbance in the Force. 
It was Help. difficult to make out, my lord. At first it was such a quiet thing. I did not notice it. But now I wonder as if it has always been there. I merely could not hear it before. The sound built so slowly. Yet when you listen for it, you can make out the strains, even over the background life of the universe. Do you feel it is a... <clears throat> you... You are the darkness in which all life dies, my lord. All life exists to feed your power and my life. My life is yours. I beg you, please, let me die. Yeah, I can't understand you. This disturbance echoes through the force. I can follow it to its source and bring it to you. I will leave it once, my lord. I don't understand who you are. But he's just staring at her as she walks away. I know what he was looking at. And that's dirty. Alright. Now we can uh, we can use Baldur to slice our way into some of these crates from earlier. Excuse me, ladies. I hear you. Which ones were locked? This one? Child's play. Battle armor. Saw one in here. Child's play. Plasma grenades. Battle stimulant. I think that was all of them. Oh, yes. oh no, Kaya, she does have her weapon equipped, okay. Okay, so we've got more of this space to explore. Do I'm gonna save in a third slot just because I I'm still not sure if uh, if this is gonna bug out at some point. I wanna have multiple saves to go back to in case it does. Man, this place is like a maze. Oh that's cool. Is this the hangar? Yes it is. T3! Are we getting the whole party back together? T3, are you alright? What did they do to you? So you've been sitting here relaxing while we've been running all over Telos. Your behavior core, they didn't memory wipe you, did they? Are you alright? It wasn't your fault they took the ship T3. Look, I'm just glad I found you. Hold on, what information are you talking about? Wait, she downloaded what from you? <laughs> Why would she want what's in your memory core? Your entire memory? Why would she want what's in your memory core? You can fill me in later, let's get you out of there first. All right, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see you at the Ebon Hawk. Interesting, so she downloaded everything on his memory. Workbench. Mandalorian battle armor. There's the Evan Hawk. Lab station. So that, that takes us to the Evan Hawk, but there's still places we haven't explored yet. More 
armor. Shields. And this just brings us back here. Okay. What about this door? Oh, that takes us to the uh, outside. All right. So let's go to the Ebon Hawk. a handmaiden chick gonna join us right here this is loading ramp to the ebon hawk once aboard you'll be leaving the telos polar academy for good enter the ebon hawk Mistress, the last of the handmaidens is not among us. She has left with the exile. She didn't tell me. Left? But why? Her oath. I sent her to travel with the exile. She may discover something I cannot. Mistress, the last of the handmaidens. She is willful, and she has demonstrated her fascination with Jedi. It may not have been why. I know what I have done, but it was necessary. So is, did she, like, stow away on the Ebon Hawk, then? Well, now that we're off that Dajaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. He's detected her. What's, what's with T3? He's gonna tell us that there's an additional passenger on board. Slow down, oh, slow down, I didn't catch that first part. You did what while you were connected? You downloaded Atrus's archives? What? You sneaky little droid. What is the machine saying? <laughs> the machine. He said there was a hollow record of my trial on Atrus's records. What? There's a hollow record of the day I was exiled. Yeah, let's do it. We seem to have found it. This is supposed to be Coruscant? Do you know why we have called you here? Oh man, I get to play out the hollow? I came because I chose to, not because you summoned me. You have called me here to answer for my crimes on Malachor 5. Yeah. As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? I realize that following Revan to war was in violation of the Jedi Code, and I broke it, unknowingly defying the wishes of the Council. If you seek to punish me, then get on with it. The truth is the Mandalorians had to be stopped, or countless more would have died. You were not at Malachor, and you will never understand. The truth is that no Jedi should turn from war, they should embrace it. Mandalorians had to be stopped. You refuse to hear us. You have shut us out. And so have shut yourself. That mustache, though. We feel that your true understanding of what happened at Malachor 5 will only happen in time. And it cannot happen here, near the battlegrounds where you fought. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Yeah, I don't think that's how that works. Much defiance in that one. You were correct, Kavar. When he was here, I felt it. 
It was as if he was not there, more like an echo. Revan's influence has grown amongst the youngest of the Order. He speaks to their passions, not their sense. The war has touched them. Many of them have found themselves in the war against the Mandalorians. It is as I feared, and I fear that we have played into the hands of the enemy. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path, but he was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code and lead all who listen to the dark side, as they did the exile. You are wrong. What? The dark side is not what I sensed in the exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the dark side. We should not have let him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. You saw it in his walk, and in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and he cuts like a blade through it. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No what good truth? would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never discover the truth, and he will never know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. What? That's bullshit. And who were they talking about before? They Jedi sure like their secrets. They referenced they? a girl. Are they talking about Kraya? Those last few moments after my trial, I had no idea. If you find anything else, let me know. Keep searching the archives. There may be more information in there. Yeah. If you find anything else, let me know. He just has a list of all the missing Jedi. Sure, display it. Master Vruk, Dantooine. Master Zezkai El, Narshada. Master Kavar, Onderon. Master Vash, Korriban. Master Atris, Telos. I knew all those Jedi Masters. Yeah, duh. Those are the Jedi all on, Cor on the council that exiled me. A strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. We have no choice. These Jedi know what happened to me. And now you reveal yourself, you snake. Those are Atris's records you have stolen. Uh -oh. What the hell are you doing on our ship? I have come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Well, we don't want your help. Or any of your sisters. If it comforts you to believe that, then so be it. But the enemies you face are many, and you will need all the help you can get. It is just me, and I am doing this because Atris believes you will need help. Uh, all right. I'll take whatever help I can get. Indeed. But of course, what does one more matter to our journey? I have had enough of this. I will be in my chambers. Yeah, me too. I'll be in my chambers. But since I don't have any, I guess I'll just go to the cockpit like I always do. If she's coming with us, she gets the cargo hold. Might remind her how fun it is to get locked up. General. The cargo hold is enough. I assure you, there is little I need. I will attend to myself. Look, forget Atten. Take the regular quarters. We have enough room. Don't let them bother you. We've just been through a lot. Fine, just stay out of the way. I know you're here to spy for Atris, so watch yourself. Not only are those things going to be your quarters, they'll be where you stay for the duration of your journey. Consider yourself under guard. Just take the regular quarters, whatever. It is no matter. I am used to worse conditions, but 
Thank you for your kindness. The handmaiden is during your party. She has a Chani defense, which protects her against melee attacks and is an excellent unarmed fighter. What's with all the unarmed fighters that we're getting? Like her, Bowder. Oh my god. Is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? I can't put up with this, man. How long is this episode gonna be? Uh, it was taken from me. That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one if you wanted to, but you know that. And why wouldn't I? I don't want anything of the Jedi. I'm not afraid of building a new lightsaber if that's what you think. I don't want it. Uh, why wouldn't I? I don't know, General. But whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. Very well. To begin, there are some parts I'll need. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. Oh. So when did you become an expert on lightsabers? I spent a lot of time around Jedi during the war. None of them would let me take their lightsaber apart, but I did learn about their construction. We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you. And if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> For the last time. God. No. This episode's gonna be an hour long. Because you're programmed to force your opponent to go first. And nothing will convince me the computer doesn't cheat. Even if I didn't have to go first and somehow I didn't suspect you of counting cards, I still wouldn't play with a trash compactor. Yeah? How many credits? What are they? All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here so I may as well take a look at you too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, what's going on here? I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Sounds like a good idea to me. Don't worry about it. Probably knows what he's doing. Worst comes to worst. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Good. Now let's get started. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. T3 received a permanent plus two bonus to his constitution. Heck yeah. Okay, yes. We have control over ourselves again. All right, we're gonna stop here because if we don't, then this video is gonna be an hour and a half. So, yeah. Uh, I'm really curious to get to know the new character and what's up with that villain. Really kind of weird, can't understand him. Don't know who that uh, chick with the face thing was, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. Anyway, thank you guys for watching Mobius 1 here, and I'll see you in the next one.